Hello. Um, so, I'm going to be talking about the Huawei Band 6 today that just arrived in the post. But first, I really want to talk about the weather. Uh, as an English person, I love talking about the weather. But 40 degrees Celsius, that's like 106 Fahrenheit in June in Vancouver, Canada. This is um, bad and too hot and I'm in the top floor in my little annexy office -y thing and it's um I'm not doing well so if you see me sweating I've been wearing this to my zoom meetings zoom meetings where I sit still look at that that's a look uh, let's talk about watches so I'm gonna leave this on actually Kind of comfortable, kind of cool. Actually, it's on topic because this is a sports watch. Boop. So let's talk about what it is. So this is the Huawei Band 6, which is very cool. I've worn uh, the Huawei GT2, the GT2 Pro, the other ones, and I have an Apple Watch, which is okay. It does its job, as iPhones do, and Apple... Apple products and things, but the reason why you clicked on this is because you're interested in the watch, not for me wearing this or talking about other stuff. So the key highlights is that it has an all-day SPO2 monitoring, a 1.47 inch AMOLED full view display, long battery life. I've heard it's like two weeks, so I'm going to be testing that because I'm going camping next week and I'm going to charge this up when I open it and then I'm not going to charge it up again until I get back from camping which will give it uh, a full, proper test. And I'll show you that in this video. Uh, it also has all day heart rate monitoring, 96 workout modes, fast charging, as all Huawei products do, their battery life, and pretty much everything. I've got the MateBook X Pro laptop, which is astonishing, it's so good. Um, I also have the P40 Pro phone, which charges up in like half an hour and lasts for two or three days. Um, it also has scientific sleep tracking. Oh, so I should leave it on, okay. Because um, I normally, I know my, I, my Apple Watch also has that, but I take it off because it's too big to sleep in. It's not comfortable. And five ATM water resistance. Uh, I assume that means five meters underneath. Um, okay, so let's open it up. I'm not even gonna change the camera angle Take that, Peter McKinnon. No B-roll here. It's all good stuff. Not the ears. I'm gonna watch. So, opening it up. And I'm sorry for destroying the box. I hope they don't want this back. Thank you, Huawei, for sending it to me. Ooh, I like the. Uh, so I was just looking at the thing that said only for testing, not for sale. So good. I'm assuming I can keep it. That's a very thin strap. So where's my? This is the Apple Watch. And that's the Huawei Band 6. So, side by side. It's about as thick as each other. It's got a really nice gold, uh, sort of very light goldy, um, what do you call it, bezel, I guess. And a peachy orange thing, which I, I enjoy. Um, you can see this, hang on, I'll undo the strap here. It says Huawei there, I don't know if you can see that. I'm hesitant to put on a bunch of lights in here. Um, and I know that looks bad in the video, but it's so hot. Um, if I turn anything on, I'm going to melt further, so there we go. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to see if this has any battery already in it. If not, I'll just give it a quick charge. Ooh. Okay, so I go to the settings menu. How do you? Oh, I see. So it's a. I mean, as to be expected, it's a touch screen. So just click on English. Download your Huawei Health app to your phone. Okay, so it comes like this, and then it also has a QR code there. If I'm scrolling up, and so I can change the language from here, and I'm going to download the app. Actually, I already have the app, and I'm going to use it on my iPhone instead of. 
the Huawei because I want to see how it works. Okay, so I already have the app. Uh, yes, I allow all those things. So I go down to devices. You can see my other Huawei watches up here. Uh, I go to add. It's tricky backwards. Okay, so smart band. Um, it's a Huawei Band 6 downloading data, so it must be looking for the newest devices. And this is the Band 6. This is in real time, ladies and gentlemen. Thrilling stuff while I download data. So there's an option for the Talk Band B6, but I don't believe it's the same thing. Uh, oh, that's an earpiece. So it has a picture of a. Thing. Maybe I'll cut this. Bloops. Um, and while I download that data, actually, I'm going to look inside the box. See what else there is. There is a warranty card. There is the <clears throat> quick start guide. Am I going to read it? Nope. Aha. I was wondering if it had one. A charger. Okay. So it doesn't have like a... Like on the uh, Apple one, it has this thing, like a flat pad, but this has the magnets and it goes into the U a normal USB. So that must connect. Oh, magnetic, that's nice. Strong magnet. Great. Okay, so this has downloaded. So, Huawei Band 6. Doing it backwards. Okay. Uh, yep, it already sees my device there. Excellent. So now it's pairing. Oh, that's very quick. Pairing request. Big tick mark, yes. Uh, Bluetooth pairing, would you like to do that? Yes, please. Uh, yep, I want to see notifications. Auto download updates over Wi Fi. Okay, so it's connected. That was really quick. Uh, and there we have it. Wow. That was incredibly fast. Really nice, quick setup. So from the app, I can see that it is connected. I can see that it has 72% battery. Haven't done any stats, haven't burned any calories, haven't done anything. Which is fair. Um, so I can have. So I've got Huawei True Sleep enabled, Activity Reminder, <coughs> Automatic Stress Test, Automatic SP, uh, SPO2, which I think is a uh, blood oxygen level. Uh, if I'm wrong, feel free to comment and let me know. Um, weather Report, yes. I want to turn, yes, it's already connected. Great, okay. So, that's the watch, it's set up. Oh. <clears throat> so if you press the button, it goes straight to workout, workout records, heart rate, SPO2, activity records, sleep, stress, breathing, notifications, weather, stopwatch, timer, alarm, flashlight, find phone, and settings. And again to settings, I'm going to change my watch face. So here's the options. That's what colourful multi info ones. What's that one? Uh, speedometer numbers, mask, graffiti, light yellow, healthy track. Uh, I'll go for that one. Come on, there we go. Great. Okay, and I'll just put it on. It's very light. I really like. I like the the rubbery strap it's not the kind of rubber that kind of sticks to your skin especially when it's really hot which is nice it uh yeah i have to move to wake it which i guess is part of the battery conserving um setting i guess you can uh i would imagine you can leave it on to uh, be an always on display <clears throat> but that's going to run down the battery um so uh, I don't want to do that. 
they also sent me some <clears throat> information, a reviewer's guide. Oh, I can go on to the S SpO2, which is the blood oxygen saturation. It refers to the blood's concentration of oxygen carrying hemoglobin relative to all hemoglobin. The brrr, skip that. Um, it monitors your health and generates an alarm when blood oxygen level is low, helping you take swift action and manage health more proactively. So if you're getting puffed out, if you're running too hard, um, if it's hot like it is today, oh, I just got a vibration. I got an email. So through the phone, it. Uh, I mean, it's not a terribly important email, so I don't mind showing you. Um, it uh, auto sends me notifications if I get an email, which is really nice. Um, my iPhone does, this feels a lot heavier. This is about, I'd say a third of the weight of my iPhone, iWatch rather, Apple Watch. Um, it, yeah, it's really nice to have a light, especially when it's so hot. Um, so I'm gonna try being more active, um, I mean, generally speaking anyway, but uh, with this, and I'm gonna charge it up to 100%, which probably will take about 10 minutes um, from 72%, and then I'm gonna leave it on uh, move to activate so it doesn't use up all the battery. Uh, it's a very crisp, clear display, that's really nice. Um, and then I'm going to not charge it up. I'm gonna leave it on, apart from when I'm, I don't know, showering or whatever, uh, and then see how long the battery lasts. So today it is the 30th of June. I'm gonna check back in. Hello, we're about to go swimming and I'm still wearing my Huawei watch and Lots of us are gonna go swimming. It's yeah, that's right. It's forty-six percent left on the battery after actually it's been yeah, it's been two weeks. Um which is incredible. Um and I've been wearing it camping and I've been wearing it swimming in the pool and in the sea and in the lake and running around and doing all the normal stuff. Um so it's it's been fantastic the but I don't know how they did it with the battery because it's so small but it works beautifully and it's been tracking my fitness and health and pulse and all that kind of stuff so um Daddy, thumbs up on the back it's how fast the blood moves around your body um okay so thank you very much to Huawei for sending this um it's a great piece of tech it works perfectly well thanks <laughs>